So uh, welcome back to my channel guys the traveling lion and uh, now today if you're not subscribed please do subscribe it's free so uh hit the subscribe button so here in downtown minneapolis as we head towards st paul uh and this is actually on a fall day before winter started although this winter we've not had any snow yeah that's downtown minneapolis here yeah. i'm just showing you uh the content from my from the metro uh from uh, from the metro uh, train where i'm sitting right now as we head towards uh, st paul so these are the twin cities minneapolis and st paul so they're like two cities connected to each other uh, minneapolis is the actually the commercial center of the commercial capital of minnesota uh, while st paul is actually the administrative capital of minnesota so they're like two cities together one next to actually they overlap each other yeah so so uh, you can't even tell where the uh, minneapolis stops and there's some paul stops yeah. normally after you cross the river this is the river on the eastern side there's uh, st paul while on the western side that is uh that is uh minneapolis yeah so uh so just watch out uh, here in downtown minneapolis yeah. very nice buildings here just watch Attention please, smoking is not allowed on board. So, uh, so I feel you can, you can actually come in, come in between the, the, the two cities without actually any any vehicle. So this is uh, uh, the U.S. Bank Stadium, uh, the best uh, the football stadium, American football stadium. Uh, this is renowned uh, uh, for the <laughs> for the Vikings. So it is the home of the Vikings. The, the, so these were the Vikings football team practice. Normally this place is like booked for the whole season. So there was a time I tried to get a ticket. Uh, the tickets were like all booked and that the people who buy them in bulk resell them at triple ten times the price. Like a thousand dollars or something. <laughs> so but uh, generally the fans, the diehard fans who buy tickets for the whole season. Yeah, for the whole season. So you don't try, they go out to all the games and uh, so it's normally booked way in advance. So, okay, getting a ticket here is really, yeah, you have to pay a lot of money to those who have like, bought the tickets in the bulk. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, so there's a US Bank Stadium, it's a modern stadium built about uh, about four years ago. So so yeah, about four four years ago. So it's pretty pretty new, pretty nice. Uh, home of the Vikings. Go Vikings! Call. Oh, that's the that's the cry of the Vikings. That's the shout of the Vikings. Vikings. Okay, I just watch as we head towards uh, San Paul, Minnesota. projects were built actually to house the refugees who came in on Minnesota I think uh, someone can correct me if I make a mistake in the comments but uh, Minnesota absorbed a lot of those uh, refugees who came uh, from Somalia uh, as refugees to the US and they came to Minnesota and more many of them came to Minneapolis and those tall buildings those uh, they actually built this this one uh, they actually built to house those refugees uh, who came in from Somalia. So, uh, so our brothers and sisters from Somalia uh, populate a lot of this uh, 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 the big population here in Minneapolis. Uh, so just watch as we continue into downtown Central Minnesota. good good like just like you you see LA actually it's one of the biggest universities here uh, a lot of people have gone here so uh, it's got a medical school engineering everything there is big big a uh, big football team and uh, yeah I've gone here a few times just for concerts and it was really really, really fun yeah so uh, so here we are you see a lot of students there are a lot of foreign students here too uh, and uh, also local students uh, uh, who come to study here at the University of Minnesota. So just watch as we continue towards downtown St. Paul. Thank you. 
you please. Smoking is not allowed on board. Minnesota covers a very wide area, so we are just now exiting that area where students live and learn. Uh, as we head towards uh, St. Paul, uh, yeah, so uh, the train runs uh, back and forth, and uh, it's a very convenient way of commuting, uh, both for students and for visitors and for locals, and it's very very efficient, and uh, it's very it comes on time, like every five minutes or so. There's a train coming back and forth that going east or going west uh yep so i uh, you actually uh be committing between be between the two cities actually don't need a car <laughs> you can actually uh, walk within the city and when you want to move uh, from the city one well, the twin cities between the twin cities yes it's the train or the bus the train is faster uh, the metro train is faster and the bus is a little uh go stop in very many places and uh, right now uh, from the train then you can actually take a connecting bus to where you're staying so if it's during the day actually you don't need a car this is one of the most friendliest uh, cities I've, I've ever seen like so so commuter friendly yeah and it's fairly it's fairly uh, fairly uh, reasonable it's like for two dollars you can move back and forth for the next uh, four hours so that's how cheap it is yeah so uh, I really love this <laughs> this place, <laughs> and I come here every other day, every other year. I come around and I enjoy being in these twin cities. Just watch, guys. traditionally uh, populated by uh, African Americans and uh, it's uh, just between you see inside St. Paul and uh, it's a nice place. Uh, I visited a friend there and actually stayed there. Somebody housed me there for quite a while and uh, they're very nice house but they're built a long time ago in like in the 1900s. That's how, <laughs> that's how early these towns were actually uh, populated. And um, I remember there was some controversy of uh, the of the highway passing through that neighborhood because it was like, oh, it's going to displace a certain community. And uh, why didn't it pass on this other side? Why didn't it pass on this other side? But I think that's now uh, resolved because the highway just takes like about uh, about 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 fifty. I can say fifty meter width, and uh, it doesn't really uh, do much. Uh, some people have to move uh, from their houses and uh, uh, relocate. Uh, but that's that, that's uh, that's all in the transport business. So we had to just create that highway, the highway 90, uh, I think 97. Yeah, highway I think it's highway 97 that was built a long, long time ago, the early 1930s. So, um, so here we are, and uh, this area also is a stadium, a soccer stadium. Uh, so the soccer stadium was built just a few years ago, like uh, uh, four years ago. And uh, where there's a soccer team, yeah. so the soccer team, I have to remember the name of the soccer team so we can connect because we have the soccer team. I've not gone to that soccer stadium, but I think uh, next time I visit, this time I'm not able to go, but next time I visit, I think I'll, 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 think 
Africa with summer probably are going for a soccer match there. I hope the tickets are not all sold out <laughs> like it is in the football games. Okay, guys, just watch as we continue touring the Twin Cities. Guys, if I'm not wrong, uh, back there in the background, I think we see the stadium, the soccer stadium. Oh, I think it just disappeared. Yeah, I think we saw the soccer stadium somewhere back there in the background. Yeah, that one over there. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, and uh, it's now operational. And I think it's called Minnesota United. <laughs> That's the soccer team. Uh, so, uh, so if you're a soccer player. Oh, there's an opening for you here. Yeah, you can come and dribble your ball around and uh, yeah, maybe join the soccer because soccer is actually gaining a lot of uh, popularity in the US uh, right now for the last four years or so. And uh, soccer teams are popping up everywhere. Here in, in St. Louis, there's a soccer team. In uh, St. Paul, there's a soccer team. And uh, many, many, many states actually are organizing their soccer teams. Uh, uh, for their for the cities and the states, so that's a new trend that's emerging. Uh, so, guys, just watch as I take you on this tour of the Twin Cities. Right now, guys, we are in St. Paul, so you don't even see like uh, it's like one big city, but there are actually two cities connected. So now we just crossed over uh, from uh, Minneapolis to St. Paul. Actually, the the border between Minneapolis and St. Paul is around uh, where the University of Minnesota is, or uh, East Bank and West Bank, just around that area. That's where the border of uh, Minneapolis and uh, St. Paul starts. So right now we are inside St. Paul and we are heading towards the city, the city of St. Paul, straight from the capital of Minnesota, the land of 10,000 lakes. I love this state. to this channel please do subscribe hit the subscribe button and uh, if you are if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much I really appreciate watch this video until the end and watch all my videos as I bring you the sights and sounds of places that I go and right now today it's in St. Paul Minnesota Minneapolis Minnesota so those two are the twin cities uh, so welcome to the Twin Cities as we watch this, uh, watch to the end and as I show you the sights and sounds of the Twin Cities.
Attention please. Smoking is not allowed on board. where you can buy a ticket. Uh, you can use a card or you can use cash. Uh, either works. Uh, yep. And uh, you can also shelter there either from the rain or from the snow or from the cold as you wait for your metro train. Uh, welcome guys. Actually, there, this is a round, this is a rondo neighborhood, and I just see there's a library there. I've actually been to this library; it's a very nice one. Yeah, I've been to this library. I do some reading over there, and uh, also there are some training sessions that are normally offered there. So, uh, so uh, if you come around, also visit this library, and uh, yeah, and see what the locals, how the locals, the kids over there, kids also are, are able to go read and play. Uh, yeah, so as we continue towards uh, downtown St. Paul. Minneapolis is all clubs and parties and uh, 
yeah, and restaurants, and bunch and bunch of restaurants. St. Paul is a little bit uh, more conservative, while St. Minneapolis is like more liberal. <laughs> yeah, so St. Paul is a little bit more conservative. So I, I guess the poor are more conservative. Uh, people who are like more reserved tend to stay in St. Paul, while the people are more liberal. <laughs> Free spirits tends to stay in now uh, in Minneapolis. So but not necessarily so, but just the vibe. The vibe is a little different. There's more fun in Minneapolis. Uh St. Paul doesn't have much fun. People are just like serious. Serious, 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 going around business. Uh Minneapolis is where all the fun takes place. <laughs> Alright guys, uh continue watching as I approach downtown St. Paul and almost going towards the end of this video. I appreciate those who have watched. Please watch till the end as I bring the sights and sounds of downtown St. Paul, Minneapolis, and uh, St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, when I say uh, conservative, I don't mean politically conservative because uh, Minnesota is actually a democratic state. <laughs> so uh, uh, the few uh, Republican legislatures, but mostly a uh, democratic state. And when I mean conservative, I mean uh, people who are laid back, people who don't like like going out and having fun and so so. So St. Paul is a bit more reserved, I think that's the last, the best one to use. Because conservative as a political connotative. So St. Paul is a bit more reserved, while uh, Minneapolis people are all free and uh, <laughs> try to live a free life, free spirit. Yeah. So uh, not political, I didn't mean it in a political way, guys. So just watch until the end. about two more stops before I reach Central Station. I normally I light at Central Station and uh, then I take my bus or walk to wherever I'm going. Yeah, so uh, Central Station is like the central of St. Paul. Yeah, so I normally I light there and we're almost there guys and uh, enjoy the video to what, until the end as we reach the end of this video. I uh, continue watching all my videos and subscribe if you've not subscribed. Subscribe para mi canal Miente. Incidentally, there's also a very big Latino community here in the Twin Cities, and I like I like that uh, very much because the diversity here is awesome. It's just awesome. Yeah, there's a very big also a Hmong community from Vietnam, from the Vietnam War, those who came over uh, from the from Vietnam to the U.S. So uh, this is just a vibrant, vibrant, vibrant uh, place uh, in the Twin Cities over here. Enjoy, guys. diversity here is awesome it's awesome really uh, i love this place it's awesome uh that's always i always come back here every year just to sample the places and uh, visit a few places here and there and do a few things here and there so we're almost reaching the end uh, of this train ride and i wish you guys all the best i love you guys to the beach and back as you watch until the end thank you guys enjoy